Hello, my name is Miguel Parga. I am the best-selling author of What They Didn't Teach You in Film School. I've also been a film professor for 14 years. And this is another one on my series of videos of how to uh, make movies at home, where I concentrate on teaching you the principles of good filmmaking rather than the equipment. Very good. So in the last video, we talked about acting actions or acting tactics. It's one of the first things that I teach my students because often they come to me asking, how do I talk to an actor? How can I communicate what I need uh, without hurting them uh, in their performance? So last time we said that the, the biggest sin you can commit as a director is to direct an actor with a result. In other words, to say to that actor, you're angry, uh, you're sad during this scene, you're desperate. You're telling them what to do, right? Remember that an actor is not a puppet. An actor is there to give you behavior. And we want to photograph, we want to film spontaneous behavior. So the way that that works is that I give the actor the ingredients, the actor cooks me the soup, and they give me back soup. I can't say, give me soup, and then <laughs> get a, a good result in, in return, right? We kind of have to go all the way around. So last time we talked about acting actions. And we know that acting actions are verbs to seduce, to intimidate, to hurt, okay? And it's what the actor is using under the lines. Usually an actor will pick at least one good action to play a scene, but often there's more than one, right? You may be playing an action in the middle of a scene and realize you may be playing the action to intimidate and realize that that's not working. So then you have to change tactics. And that may happen in the middle of the scene. Or you find out a piece of information, and suddenly you need to change what you're playing. Once you pick what you're playing, it informs everything that you're doing in the scene. So for example, an actor uh, may be playing the action to intimidate, uh, they have an entrance, they sit down and they start talking to their partner. When does the action start? The moment they walk into the door. Opening the door, walking into the room, looking at the other person, sitting down, and then starting to talk. All the, all the time, you're playing the action to intimidate. Um, if you want to see a good example of that, watch one of the face-offs of one of the Mike Tyson fights from the 80s, right? The moment Mike Tyson walks into that arena, he's playing the action to intimidate. It doesn't matter who's in front of him, he's going to intimidate them, okay? Very good. So the action is the first uh, uh, element that we have to direct an actor, right? Instead of giving them a result, tell them what they can play, okay? What they can play. Now, uh, the second element that I like to give my students is the obstacle, okay? And the obstacle works in direct opposition to the action. So for example, let's say I have a scene between Jack and Rose. I'm gonna use the names from the movie Titanic just because they're easy to remember, right? Uh, and I say to Rose, Rose, you're playing a scene with Jack and Jack has a big diamond in his jacket pocket and your objective is to get that diamond. Very good, that's the objective for the scene. Now, what action are you going to play? You're going to play the action to seduce. You're gonna seduce that diamond off of him. Okay, but I'm going to give you an obstacle. You find him disgusting. He makes you want to puke. He's got bad breath. Okay, go. Now, the actor, that, that action in that obstacle is going to give me back behavior. I don't know what that behavior is going to be. Every time he gets close, maybe she goes like this. I don't know, right? That's why we rehearse. Okay, I'm not telling the actress, well, listen, you have to do this, you have to do that. No, you're playing something and there's an obstacle that's working in direct opposition with to what you want to play, okay? And then the last part, piece of it is, I'm gonna write it down here, circumstance. All right, or in some acting uh, uh, techniques, they call it the magic as if. Okay, the magic as if. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, a lot of times you'll see in an audition where you'll say to an actor, okay, I want you to do this scene, but I want, it, I want you to do it as if this house was on fire. Go, right? Uh, 
I'm giving the person an imaginary moment, an imaginary piece of information to create behavior. I don't know what that behavior is going to be, right? So I give it to the actor and I rehearse it. I play it and I see if it works, all right? So if we go back to the same scene that I was trying to describe, the Jack and Rose scene with the diamond, I say to Rose, Rose, uh, Jack has a diamond in his jacket pocket. Your objective is to get that diamond. Okay, you're gonna play the action to seduce. You're gonna seduce that diamond off of him. However, I'm gonna give you an obstacle. The obstacle is that you find him disgusting. He's got bad breath. He makes you wanna puke. And I give you another obstacle, you're drunk, okay? Now, circumstances, you're on Titanic, and by midnight tonight, this ship is going to go down and everybody in it is gonna die. You're gonna survive, but you need that diamond before that happens, go, okay? This is how we direct an actor. You understand? We do not give them a result. We don't tell, we don't tell them you're gonna feel this way, you're gonna feel that way. She, during the process of playing that scene, may feel 20 different emotions. That's okay. We're still talking the language of the actor and giving them directions in a way that they can use by using these three techniques, right? The action, the obstacle that works in direct opposition to, opposition to the action, and the circumstance that enhances what's going on. Again, just more ingredients, right? I give the actor the ingredients, the actor cooks me the soup, and they give me back soup. If you like the content and would like to hear more about future seminars, projects, and the upcoming release of my new book, How to Make Movies at Home, subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. Thanks for watching.